It is painfully obvious that President Donald Trump dreams of being a dictator. He admires dictators and he wants to be like them. The only problem for him is that he is president of a free country that neither has nor allows dictatorships. Is that stopping Trump? Not if he can help it. His recent firings and nominations point to just how low Trump is willing to go to get what he wants. Homeland Security Secretary Kirstjen Nielsen and virtually everyone who reported to her are Trump's most recent casualties. According to CNN, Nielsen believed that some of Trump's more outlandish moves threatened America's security and that those moves did not comport with federal law. Instead, Trump's lackey Stephen Miller is running things when it comes to immigration. Miller is a well-known Trump loyalist and racist, so we know how he's going to handle things, as he is even more racist than Trump, if that's even possible. According to the New Republic, Miller is responsible for Nielsen's ouster and was also behind Trump pulling Ronald Vitello from consideration as head of immigration and customs enforcement. While most of us could easily figure out Trump's game plan, some Republicans are finally beginning to question Trump's motives. He is not choosing the most qualified to fill positions. He is instead choosing those whom he believes have undying loyalty to him, including a willingness to cross legal and ethical lines. While Trump denied to NBC News that he is cleaning house, that is exactly what he's doing. Even old Mossback Grassley is up in arms and told The Washington Post that he is very, very concerned and points out that Trump has to have some stability, particularly with the number one issue that he's made for his campaign. Other Republicans speaking out include John Cornyn and Joni Ernst. Grassley even criticized Stephen Miller, who he has said is hard-pressed to demonstrate he's accomplished anything for the president. For Trump, results don't matter. People doing his bidding does not just think how much easier his life will be for Donald Trump if he's surrounded by yes men and women. Such a setting would likely be utopia for Trump, though it promises to be a living hell for the rest of us. As stated by The Hill, Trump is attempting to assert greater control over the federal government, but not in the sense of normal person would control through stability and allowing all branches of government to work as they should. He wants to have the entire government at his feet. He's getting closer and closer to becoming a dictator and his actions stand to seriously threaten our institutions on way of life.